video is about the LAPCA radiation monitor, uh, how well it works, and who should be using it. This finger-sized uh, electronic device uses the earplug jack on an iPhone uh, and a downloadable app from the store to take measurements in microsieverts per hour uh, measurement of beta and gamma radiation. It's a very simple app with background presets for various levels of radiation. It takes a while to accumulate the data and the app itself is ridiculously simple. I'll be comparing its efficiency against a conventional Geiger counter of about the same range, $150 cost. Background readings are very low, both devices, which is expected. The lab could takes a while to accumulate a reading. I've got a source here of beta radiation in a Coleman lamp mantle. It contains thorium. The Geiger counter picks up three and a half microsieverts and the lab could gets the same. We'll block off that beta radiation just so that the gamma is coming through and see if both detectors uh, show a reduced radiation coming from it. It's quite a safe level of radiation. The lab could does take several minutes and claims that its accuracy increases significantly after five to ten minutes of reading whereas the handheld picks it up almost immediately. I've sped up the time on the video here so that you don't have to sit through all three or four minutes of accumulating the signal. But you can see it does approximate the regular Geiger counter. To look at higher levels, I've got some uranium ore samples in a protected box here. We're going to be measuring it with the regular Geiger counter. It's inside a steel box with a lead-lined interior to keep beta radiation from coming out. We're seeing uh, 10 up to 30 microsieverts per hour. The LAPCO one does show 7 microsieverts and increasing, so it's getting close to that. We have another lantern mantle inside. It does contain thorium, again with the uh, beta and gamma emissions from it. The Geiger counter is giving us 3 to 5 microsieverts per hour from the mantle. The LAPCO is at 2 in building, so that's pretty close on that one there. Carnotite is a medium level uranium ore found in sandstones from Utah. Often explored for with Geiger counters or scintillometers. We're reading 10 microsieverts per hour from that on the Geiger counter. Lots of beta and gamma radiation. The lab is accumulating its signal right now. And it's a lower one at this point and it stopped at 5. Now it might get higher but it's definitely lower. Uraninite and Brandonite uh, medium to high level ore from Lake Ontario. The Geiger counter picked up a very strong signal at 30 microsieverts per hour. Lots of radiation coming from here. Lapka detector laid right on the rocks. Peaked at about 13, was slowly building, but was significantly lower than the Geiger counter. Pitch blend is uranium dioxide and is a very high grade dense uranium source. The detector went nuts, sort of chirping here at over 100 microsieverts per hour from a very, very strong radioactive source. Even though the LAPCA detector was laid right on top of the ore sample, it never got over really 6 or 7 microsieverts. It was still climbing, but it should have been much more right away, which is a little odd for such a strong source. When the samples were put away, even though they were in the lead line box, there's still abundant gamma radiation coming through that was picked up on the detector. Uh, in that case, the LAPCA actually showed 13 in climbing as opposed to the lower levels when it was right on top of the ore, which is quite odd. Final comparison at the reduced levels of radiation, both Geiger counter and LAPCA actually came into fairly close agreement. The device is very portable, reliable at low levels, uses very little power, and the app and the background to the device requires zero scientific knowledge. Other devices for similar money that will work faster at higher radiation levels that produce sound as well as a visual display that do not need a secondary device to work and will not be made obsolete by a software change or a version update. Who could use this? Well, rock hounds who like to travel light, that like to have a little magnet and a magnifying glass and a UV light and a Geiger counter in their pocket. Uh, people at Beachcomb and are afraid of uh, contaminated uh, material from Fukushima washing up. 
environmental contamination from um, recycled metals or uh, lamp mantles, science teachers, people who are curious about the natural world that use them as an instructional device. There are those that collect iPhone accessories and people that worry about everything and that want to have a device that shows that in fact their world is safe around them. Bottom line, for about the same money you can buy a real Geiger counter that is audible, reliable, won't make you feel silly pulling out of your bag and will not become obsolete with the next version change or software update.